This is the Asquith Baptist Church birdhouse uh, kit. And when you get your kit, you can open it up. The kit will look like this. You will open it up, and these are the components that you will have in it. Two end pieces, two roof pieces, two side pieces, a floor piece, a perch, a bottle of glue, and 25 nails, and a popsicle stick. Okay, you'll notice all the marks on these pieces, and these marks are aligning marks. And so when you're working on your birdhouse, you're gonna have marks that have to line up like these ones. So to start building your kit, you're gonna take the two end pieces, and we have to make sure that the marks are going to line up with what we're doing. So to start with, we're gonna take one and two. We're gonna place them here. We're gonna take the side piece that matches the one and the two. We're going to put a couple of nails for aligning. Then we're gonna take the glue and you have to hold it level and it, the top screws off. Then you're gonna take some glue and you're gonna put it on the side like that. Sit the glue down, take your piece that you put the nails in and they're gonna line up with those holes in that end plate. Then you're gonna drive them in. Then the other end plate. You're gonna take and you're gonna put glue on it. Then you're going to align the holes again with your nails and you're going to drive those two. Turn your birdhouse over, put the glue on the other side. Grab your other side piece and line it up. Make sure it's turned the right way so that it lines up. Then you can put your nails in and align them with the holes and drive the nails in on that side. Then you do the same on the other end, making sure that your marks are lined up. And now you have your sides on. Okay, now we're gonna take the roof pieces and again, there is two roof pieces, and one we're gonna line up with the top of the ends, so that's the one we're gonna put on first. So, kind of mark, now I've got it upside down here. You see my marks here must be matching up to there. That's wrong. We have to turn it around, so this is the way the roof is gonna go on, so that end piece, okay? So, we've got it kind of figured out there. So now we're gonna take it and we're gonna put our glue on. And this is our piece, so then we can get our nails ready to align. Line them up with the holes. And then once you have it all lined up, again, keeping this top nice and flush here. So we've got one half of the roof on. Now we're gonna take the other piece of the roof, line it up with the mark so you know which way it's gonna go. So it's gonna fit like that. Then we're gonna take our glue again and put some glue on our end pieces. And then again, take the nails for dowels.
The reason why we have them pre-drilled is to try and keep them square. And so once you have that squared, then we can drive the nails in. And now we have the roof on, so we're going to turn it over and do the bottom. Again, there will be a mark somewhere on the bottom to identify that that is the end that is matching. Uh, this one doesn't match, the marks don't match perfectly, but they're still identifying that that is the end. One end is a little bit longer than the other, and it is the end with the, the perch is on. So once we have that established, we're gonna glue again, and then put our nails in for lining so that we get the base on square Now we're going to take our perch. We're going to put a bit of glue on the perch and we're going to install it into the quarter inch hole underneath the perch. This one here is fairly tight so we're going to tap it in a little bit with the hammer leaving it out about an inch. And that is basically our finished birdhouse. Okay, after you're done assembly, your birdhouse should look like this with all these marks out here. Now to cover up the marks, we are suggesting that you paint your birdhouse to your liking and then it will look something along this line. So a finished birdhouse, the paint is not included in the kit, but this is what you should have when you're finished.